Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Dragon, and today I'm going to show you how to make some certs. Alright, check it out. There's a lot of different things you could do to make certs in this game. You know, if uh, you're looking at this video, apparently you're looking for a way to make certs faster. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, the biggest thing, like what you could do to make like triple the certs that you make now is to start a membership, you know. But personally, I'm not going to start a membership. I'm not going to pay money to play a game every month, you know. So that's just me. Uh, that being said, there's a lot of other things that you can do you know to earn certs real fast in this game um, uh, a lot of things even before you even deploy one of the first things that you want to think about you want to join a squad alright now if you go to your social tab and check it out you know there's a lot of different squads you can join on different you know continents and stuff that they're gonna help you all round because first off you get more experience teaming up with your squad now uh, even even without kills or anything every 250 experience you get you get a cert so if you're doing stuff with your squad say you're repairing your squads maxes or vehicles you're getting more experience say you're healing your squad reviving your squad you're getting more experience so and that's more than what you would get healing anybody else now any normal person now another thing uh, squad is gonna help you because there's strength in numbers you know um, if 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 an enemy sees just you and you're an inexperienced player and they come up on you they're gonna own you up now you know what they might own you up in numbers but say they see three or four of you come marching in the base and there's only one of them, they might just run away. So uh, a squad's going to help you be able to coordinate your efforts to just be more successful. And that's going to lead to more certs just in general. Um, another thing that you want to do before you even deploy, uh, look for advantages in the map. Now, in every continent, you're going to see hot spots, you know. You can hit instant action, and it's going to take you somewhere. But you don't know, you know, where that's going to be. You could end up in a spot that, you know, you're getting camped on. So you want to look for advantages in the map. Now, in each area, you can look and see what the population is. Now, you generally want to pick an area where, you know, say it's there's double of your allies there than there are enemies now just that alone is going to get you more certs so you know you want to look for advantages in the map before you even deploy uh, also another thing if you see an area taking heavy fire you it might be a smart idea to deploy at the next area that's like a little safer that you own away from that Instead of deploying at a Sunderer on the scene that might just get you killed as soon as you spawn in, you might want to deploy a little bit farther back. It'll give you a chance to survey the area and, you know, assess the situation as well as being able to change your equipment or spawn in a vehicle. You know, whatever you think might get the job done. <laughs> uh, another thing, you know, if if you're an inexperienced player, you you might want to go for... I, I personally always like to jump into other people's turrets. You know, you might get a couple players that don't allow you access, but for the most part, people are going to invite you to jump in the top of their turrets. Uh, with somebody else driving, it's a lot easier to get kills and not get killed, you know. So if you jump into the vehicle... Not only are they going to get points, but you're going to get points. You know, you're just going to end up with more, especially if it's a teammate. So, you know, that's another thing. Um, 
also, you want to kind of, you know, you want to kind of go, uh, you can hit insert to join a random squad. If you don't find any, you can just hit insert and you'll just join into any squad. So that's cool too. Um, okay, now let's get down to the classes. Uh, one of the major classes that you can get points in this game to get certs is the engineer. The engineer is like number one. And the reason why is because not only can you repair maxes, vehicles, uh, they have a, a, a huge array of different anti-personnel weapons, you know, as well as the ammo packs. The ammo packs, they're going to get you a majority of your points. If you're just starting out in this game, you want to take the engineer. You want to throw ammo packs. You want to find, you know, areas where there's a lot of your players at. And you just want to lay these ammo packs down as much as possible. You can hit F to do this. And the ammo packs, they're going to give you a little bit of experience every single time that these people come past and reload from. So if you have a spot where there's a, a line, you know, where there's a no man's land. And on one side you got the enemies, on the other side you got your people, which is going to happen a lot. And... You know, there's going to be like a wall of your friends. And they're going to be all aiming. You're going to want to throw ammo packs at them. Because I'm telling you, it's going to get you paid in the long run. You're going to get so many certs from this. It's unbelievable. Um, now, another thing that you can do is lay down bouncing Bettys. Now, they're going to get you some points, but it's hit or miss. Another thing, you don't want to deploy your Bouncing Bettys anywhere around where you're going to be setting up if you have a turret, you know, because they're if they shoot around you, even if they miss, they'll hit your shit and blow you up. Um, another thing that you want to do to make quick certs, you want to spawn that Sunderer because a Sunderer can get you massive amounts of points, just even more than the ammo packs do. Because the thing is, is when another player spawns a Sunderer, which you're going to see when you spawn your Sunderer, there's going to be a million people just like you. The thing is, is that 90% of these people are going to rush in. They're going to put, they're going to deploy in a bad location. And you know what? They're going to get killed. So even if you deploy somewhere farther away from the place that you're invading, or defending, uh, you you can potentially be the main uh, the main spawn location for all your teammates to defend or attack from. And the only thing that you have to do is sit there and wait a minute or two, like like seriously, like one minute or two minutes, and uh, you'll know because people just start spawning hardcore at your location. Every time they spawn, you get some points. You know, um, another combination that you could do is to use the engineer and a vehicle. I do engineer and sunderer, and I'll drive it by myself, and I'll deploy it somewhere, and then I'll hop in my turret on the top. And if the vehicle starts taking damage, if I can get out of there, I will. If not, I just jump out and start repairing it. If they're going to blow you up and you're going to die anyways... You can die with some certs. <laughs> you know, you can repair that, you know, whatever your vehicle is. And uh, either it'll survive the attack long enough for somebody to take control and destroy that target. Or, like I said, even if they kill you, you'll still get a bunch of points on the way out. Um, you know, another thing, you know, going around repairing maxes. A lot of times with the engineer... All I do is go around and repair maxes. You know, they're everywhere. They show up on the radar, and all you got to do is just follow them around. You can hide around a corner while a max stands out in the open the whole time, just going to town on the enemies. All you got to do is heal them up, you know. 
say you got a Max and two engineers, and they'll they'll last forever if you got the right setup. Maybe an engineer and a medic, you know, and uh, you could just you could just stand there and camp massive points and get them certs. Um, another real fast way to get certs is to you know to get ribbons uh, every kill like I said before gets you you know every kill gets you around a hundred experience and you know base experience and as I said before uh, every 200 experience is one cert so you know if if you uh, you know you gotta you gotta do you get ribbons and if you look on, you know, your tab for that, it'll show you all kinds of different things that you can do to get these ribbons. Now, I don't particularly search for one particular thing to do to get ribbons. I just play in general, you know, you'll just get these ribbons. And uh but I've heard it's better to, you know, go around and try to get a bunch of different ribbons in the beginning of the game than it is to try to Pursue one ribbon to get the best, you know, and it's the same with your guns with medals. Um, as you use your gun for a while, you'll get more medals for getting kills with it. And each medal that you get, you know, it's like bronze, silver, and all this. And you'll get more certs for each medal you get. But it's better to just switch up your gun around like gold because... You wanna you wanna go and pursue different things that are easier to get because it's easier to get a few certs real fast than to wait a long time to get a bunch of certs in the beginning of the game. You basically want to save the really good things for last. You know you wanna you wanna save your best achievements for whenever you get better in the game because you're gonna get them you're gonna get them you know. Just uh, think of them as a bonus. But um, another way to get quick certs. Steal them kills, man. Don't be afraid to get in there and steal somebody's kill. Don't be worried about what they're going to think about it. If you was in a war, you ain't going to be worried about, oh, you, I, you took my kill, whatever. You know, I would not be mad at you. I would be happy that you had my back. I might even get an assist. Do not be worried about stealing people's kills. That is like, if you, the, the whole thing is, is you could do 90% of the damage. And if somebody gets that last little bullet in on you, they're going to steal your kill. So you'll get, you'll get the most credit, you'll get the most experience, but you won't get the actual register for getting that kill. So you want to get in and you want to steal kills as much as possible. Um, another thing that you uh, do not waste your cert points. I've wasted countless amounts of cert points on, you know, useless things that I don't even, <laughs> they're completely useless. I don't even want to name them because I don't want to discourage anybody from playing the game or to disrespect anybody's style. But uh, some things in this game are completely useless. You're not going to end up using them. And if you if you end up spending all these points, you're not going to get them back. Um, you get offered a refund certain points throughout the game. Uh, but the refund is only... You know, it, it's, it doesn't give you back the points for everything. Only certain things. So you're not going to get the points back for, say... I don't know, your auto turret for, you know, your engineer or something like that. You're not going to get them points back. So spend your points wisely. A lot of the most expensive unlockables cost a thousand certs. So you don't want to save up a thousand certs and blow them on some bullshit. I'm not, <laughs> pardon my French. But, uh, you know, the Sunderers, the stealth for the Sunderer. If you go all the way to get your stealth, it's like 2,500 certs. You know, you might want to think about that before getting into stealth. Another quick way 
or another and, and before you think if you want to use the sunder or not you know uh, another quick way to get certs is to heal and revive with the medic uh, I wouldn't suggest starting out new and putting all your points into the medic I would wait until you invest a little bit in other things but relatively early in the game you should invest in the medic because the same like the engineer uh, depending on the situation you could get more points using a medic healing and reviving people um, especially when defending now uh, stealthers you can get points through hacking and marking targets but that's not really my cup of tea and in my opinion you don't really get certs as fast as you get them you know as you would with say an engineer or a medic they're like the kings of getting them certs <laughs> uh, you know so basically um, I think I covered pretty much all the most important ways I mean like I said I'll recap the number one way get a membership join a squad choose your location uh, choose your class wisely what you're comfortable with spend your certs wisely get the ribbons get the medals use turrets hey listen only fools rush in see you next time YouTube